Stranger things have happened before in the Toronto real estate market. Stay tuned to this month's Market Watch to find out exactly what I mean. Promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to this month's episode of Market Watch. We got the numbers in for June last week, and as the title says, Stranger Things Have Happened Before. Now, the fiance and I have been big Stranger Things fans, the Netflix TV show, not my title, since season one, and amidst all the wedding planning, and we decided to just sit down and binge all of season three last weekend. It was marvelous. It gave us an opportunity to use our first 4K TV, and the season and the TV were pretty spectacular. Now, with the stats for June coming out, this marks the end of the spring season, and we're halfway through the year and for the real estate market. So how do we do? Well, like the title says, Stranger things have happened before in Toronto real estate market. Really not that much. So this is probably what you're seeing right now. 10% increase in sales and 3% increase in prices to an average of $832,000. That's what everyone's saying. Now we're continuing our climb. I don't expect to come down. We're definitely gonna slow down from a month to month basis in the summertime, but come over the fall, we're probably gonna be trending up again. The price increase that we're experiencing right now is actually very healthy and sustainable, which is what I personally like to see. Now the increase in sales is normal because we're slowly trending back to our 10 year average. Because you have to remember, right now we're still below the 10 year average. So expect the sales to keep increasing. The major key indicator to always watch for is the months of inventory that we talk about or MOI. The number of new listings have not really changed by much since last year, but the sales have increased. And again, like I always say, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the Prime Prop CEO channel so we can put out more content. On a serious note though, as sales increase and listings are just the same or they decrease, it's the normal spiel I've been telling you all the time. We have a supply issue and the market will continue getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And at some point, we're gonna hit a point where the demand is so huge, prices will increase much faster than the rap and then the 3% we're doing right now, much more rapidly too. Now with half the year over, let's look at the numbers of uh, sales to date. This is one of my favorite charts because it breaks down different side markets of the market in the 416. And in this chart, you can actually see that in 2019, the freehold properties are surging, despite the fact that freeholds are actually less than half of all the sales because most of them are in condos that were sold. And now when you look at the 905 market, you can see that like clockwork, everything is up, including detaches at a 905. So this is a very good sign of the strong market. So what does this ultimately tell us? Well, the way I interpret it is we're in a very strong market with strong demand across the board. Over the last six months, we've seen an increase of sales of 9%, which is good because we're trending back to that 10-year average normal that we're supposed to be expecting. We'll likely continue to see these trends in the fall when the market picks up again after Labor Day. Now, this is what you guys need to know. Sellers, now is the time for you to get your properties ready to sell in the fall market. And buyers and investors, if you're looking for a property right now, there could be much less competition, even though there's less uh, listings out there but you could score an, uh, a good deal right now in the summertime. So make sure you reach out to me to make a plan for your real estate goals in the next three, four months. Until next time, happy real estate.